You're coming in a little bit low, Stephen. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know how to make it higher. Is this any better? Yes. Okay. So it's just a matter of me speaking louder. I really got to solve my microphone issue. I have this, but it's way too faint. You know, I've heard that about the snowball for years. Yeah. <laughs> it's not loud enough. I can't use it. I, I can use it if I talk right like this, but my headphone microphone won't work. I don't know why it's not working. So I'm actually using the microphone that uh, is on my webcam. It's a nice little condenser mic. I'd show it to you, but it's attached to my webcam. Yeah. <laughs> it's everybody's challenge. I went to the shop yesterday. I can't, there's no mics. There's, there's no microphones for sale. It's, I'm loving all the stuff behind you. you know, I'm, I'm seeing like your XO over here and your Pearl book over there and Ubuntu. And yeah, this is, this is a man I want to get to know. Yeah. <laughs> So wonderful. <laughs> Any I'm amazed, John, you can even read that. <laughs> I can't read it. <laughs> Do you have a high def webcam, Stephen? I think so. Yeah, it's, you got some nice webcam there. I also yeah. maximized my uh, uh, Google Plus uh, oh, view here to, to, to fill up an entire, you know, uh, old. Well, you can, that'll do it. So is that your real house, John, or is that just like a backdrop you use for your... That is house? just a backdrop. Yeah, no, I don't actually live here. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I don't. <laughs> uh, so, Stephen, you did an excellent job figuring out what Google needs to do with circles. What do they need to do? What do they need to do? Okay. Uh, the big problem with circles is that... There's only one output stream, right? So if you're following me, you're following everything. And what I wanted in circles was a way to show just facets of myself. So if I have, you know, I want to have different channels for different things that I do. I have my Flickr channel. I have my uh, uh, Twitter channel, which I just use for little inconsequential tweets. I have different blogs. I have a blog called Let's Make Some Art Now, Damn It, uh, which is for art projects. I have another one which is Half an Hour, which is uh, political. I have my Google Share RSS feed, which almost nobody knows about, uh, which is totally political stuff, you know, global warming and all of that. And all it is is me sharing. But the thing is, the main point is, I have all of these different channels. And if somebody's following me on Google, they can only follow the one channel. And so I want to be able to allow people to add me to their circles, but just add a facet of me to these, to my circles. So that, that's, that's one of the things. Um, the other thing is when I distribute content to the circle, it's distributed private the people in that circle. So it's sort of like the flip side of the facets thing, right? Uh, I want to be able to distribute content to circles, but do so in a public way. So it's kind of like public circles, or as I, I like to call them facets. And I think if Google added those, that would really help the system. And just as an aside, this is really the first, first thing I think Google should do longer term because if they open it up and it almost sounds like they might open it up then we could have this really fabulous system where Google Plus acts like this great information processing system so I could bring my content in because there would be APIs that allow me to do this from my blogs from Twitter I can email in from Flickr, whatever, right? Then expose it to different facets. People subscribe to whatever facets they want. And then in the ideal world, we could actually harvest the output of this into other applications. You can already harvest a Google Plus feed. There's a, 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 a G Plus feed. 
something like that right now that lets you harvest your RSS feed from your Google Plus stream. If we had this, then we could have this sort of matrix in the middle of all of the stuff that we do externally that could allow us to bring stuff in, mix it, match it, combine it, do whatever we want with it, and then send it off to the greater world. That would be awesome. Have you written your Dear Google yet? Your Dear Google letter yet? I wrote a blog post. That's how I write to Google. So I write a blog post and they decide if they want to listen to me. They probably don't, but uh, they decide. <laughs> John, what are you typing away about? I'm actually making a wiki to speech presentation that so far has six slides in it, including the let's make some art, damn it, and uh, Stephen's comments about uh, Google Plus and facets. <laughs> that's fast. <laughs> that's have you, have that's seen, the whole point. Yeah, this, have you this, seen this John's wiki to speech stuff, yeah. Stephen? No, I haven't. Uh, what's the this is a good item for the OL Daily. It sounds like it might be. What is it? Wiki to speech .com? Org. And was that with a two or a spell? T-O, it's actually, yeah, W-I-K-I-T-O-S-P-E-C-H dot org. That's good for the zero listeners on Ed Radio to get that. I entered a text chat to Ed Radio this morning. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, yay. I'm going to go check that out. <laughs> and I did it in an open and friendly way. I yeah, what did you choose? Uh, uh, I found an IRC client I plugged in here, and it goes to Freenode. So you don't even have to use this. You can use your own IRC client to chat if you want. Does I it automatically archive? Uh, no, I don't know how to do that. Ah, okay. So you, you need to log in. Yeah. And is there a way to automatically archive IRC? So that's news to me. It'd be good news to me, but it's still news to me. Still waiting for you. To I'm not it. aware of one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Thinking about that. But you'd think it'd be doable. I mean, IRC world is so full of coding geeks. Someone can figure that out. Oh yeah, there's gonna be. So far, it's you and me in there, Stephen. We can text chat together. We can text chat just as though we were on Google Plus. <laughs> uh, which I, which is my big wish list item for Google Plus. I feel like the messaging component is pretty weak. Like when I want to just send a message to someone, I can create a post and share with just them. I can find my little Google chat thing and chat with them. But that needs to be integrated more smoothly. Yeah, I agree. Okay, there's no www on the beginning of which the speech is there. What? No. So what do you click on Stevens Ed Radio page? Oh, do you click on chat? Jeff? The little IRC window there. You have to choose an ID and click connect. This is the Korean for when you answer a phone, you say "yobaseo." Yobaseo. and then <laughs> and then you get this endless loop of yobaseos going. Yobaseo. Okay. All right. So I've just posted into my Dropbox the uh, the first slides from the summary of the current presentation. So there there eventually will be seven slides there with voiceovers. Uh, that are generated using the text-to-speech uh, engine on this Mac. Very good. So what's the plan for this, John? Like, is this a commercial thing? Is this an academic thing? Is this the next component of Wikipedia? Uh, you know, it, it's a, all of those uh, are open possibilities at, at this juncture. Uh, you know, I, I, in some ways, sort of feel like I, I, I could be, you know, you know, Larry Page figuring out how, you know, page count works, and you know, at some point, this is going to turn into you know, some hugely uh, 
impactful global scale, you know, educational resource, you know, or, uh, but uh, it, it's got some kinks that need to be worked out of it. And uh, the, uh, uh, the, the Kurzweilian uh, view of things is that it, it's inevitable that somebody's going to figure out how to make all of this stuff happen. Uh, and so, you know, if, uh, if I can kind of nudge people in the right direction and uh, you know, maybe contribute a, a few uh, of the, the ideas that, uh, that really make the, the thing click, uh, you know, really all I'm doing is, from, from my perspective is looking out at what's actually already working and just trying to bring those pieces together. And, and uh, the, the, the fact of uh, the, uh, have you heard perhaps the, the, the new Apple Lion uh, operating system is going to come replete with a whole variety of new voices. So uh, currently we've just had Alex to play with and, and he's pretty good. Uh, you know, he, he managed to make it into a, a, a TED talk um, where, uh, you know, that famous uh, uh, Roger Ebert, the, the, uh, the movie reviewer, had had a, a, a jaw cancer and ultimately was no longer able to, uh, to speak himself. And so he did a TED talk where he used his laptop and the laptop actually told jokes. You know, it, it was really quite uh, effective. Uh, and so the, 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 the power to, to kind of use those robot voices when, when they sound ultimately so, so human, really. And uh, the, the vendors are actually working now on the prosody of, of the, the words. So it, it won't just be the same, you know, sort of monotonic but you could have things that are spoken a little softer and you can have things that are spoken loudly and more quickly. And, and those are the, the kinds of markups that you can add to uh, the way the, the robot is delivering the message. And Michael Marzio, bonjour. Hello. Hello, hello. Good to see you. This Great is my first you. hangout. Excuse me for interrupting. Not at uh, all. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'll let Just, you go on. This is my, like I said, my first hangout. So um, I'm. Uh, this is American Visitor Week, and uh, everyone's everyone is downstairs at the moment. But I didn't want to miss uh, my first hangout. All right, where are you calling from? <laughs> from south of France. Ah, right. And Rob, I'm sorry to nag you about your audio, but I sorry. find no, I find it hard to believe that your headset mic is where we're getting our audio. I think we're getting it from on board. Can you tap your headset, Mike? Oh, no, no um, I'm sorry, Mike. You're oh, fine. I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm talking excuse to Rob. Excuse me. I'm, excuse me. Mike, you have lovely audio. Yeah, we're not getting it, your audio oh, from there. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> yeah. I've heard those tapping noises before. I will I hear switch. Them. I, I hear them in my sleep. Speaking of which, has anyone had any Google Plus dreams yet? I, I have to confess, I've been dreaming about Google Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Welcome to my world. That's not weird. I mean, you, you dream about what you're doing, right? <laughs> I've been spending a lot of time on Google Plus lately. Clearly. <laughs> but, the gentleman uh, on the far right seems to have a very high definition webcam. Boy, oh boy. It looks special. <laughs> Sorry? Show it to you, except to, you know, you can't really show off the webcam on the webcam. I wish I had a mirror, I did. But it's just a little, it's a Logitech Carl Zeiss 2 megapixel autofocus uh, T-E-S-A-R, Tessar 2.0 slash 3.7. That Carl Zeiss uh -huh. does some nice work. Yeah. So... I'm I'm very happy with it. I, I did deliberately buy a very good web camera because I want I knew I was going to do video recording. Because you want to look pretty. And I want to look pretty. <laughs> so. so how you doing, Mike? Oh, uh, fine. Um, just uh, enjoying. Uh, July and August is when, like I say, the uh, 
the American friends come, uh, and this year is exceptional. Uh, and it's great to uh, be in America without having to go there. <laughs> if you For know those who I don't mean. know, Mike produces realenglish.com, which is uh, the EFL online world's one of their favorite video sites. Well, thank you for the advice. <laughs> so, a what, long what, time. You know. Being in America without being there, you, you kind of lost me. Oh, it's just that um, all the old friends from college days uh, are here, and yeah. uh, it's like being back home. And still being friends. Uh, which part? My closest, of my closest friends are those I went to college with in Pennsylvania. Back in your hippie days. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so you're not in the U.S. now. You must be somewhere else. Yeah, I'm in France. All oh, right. Okay. That that would be. I, I I've been living here for a long time. John, how many people do we need to see of you? <laughs> Have you oh, that's yourself? interesting. He froze on one. Oh, interesting. Did, did I duplicate my window accidentally? I, I I was trying to take a snapshot of it, and I think I hit the wrong key. Yeah, I see two of you on my screen. Oh, no, you just disappeared. Yeah, okay. The, the non-live one. Hey, Jeff, my other question is, are you able to capture the chat in Google Plus as well as the chat in your other area? <laughs> yes, not automatically, but if you just select all, copy, and paste oh. somewhere, you can grab it before you right. exit the Hangout. Wow. Please capture it, because I lost mine when I did that. You know, why don't I do that now, just in case? Ah. Mike, say something else, because I'm trying to take your picture. Sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, you know, you can click nice. on his picture, and it stays up. Oh, right. Thanks. Uh, I can click on John's. Oh, I got your names here. Good. I can click on John. I and then you, can un says, then you can unclick John, and then the person speaking's picture comes up first. Oh, great. Very clever. I bet there are a lot of uh, clever things to be discovered here. Like I say, it's my first uh, attempt here. Um, yeah, well, it's uh, nice to meet uh, Stephen and Rob and, and John. Um, uh, to be honest, your names are not familiar. Um, I'm not as active as I should be in the social media world. But well, then uh, how'd you find us? Oh, <laughs> uh, I've I've known Jeff for quite a while. Oh, He's Jeff! A, Jeff is the connector. Yeah, oh, Bridger. Absolutely, Bridger. Oh, I've, Bridger. Sorry. <laughs> thanks to we World Bridges EFL Bridges, uh, I've I've been a guest twice, and uh, I've really appreciated. Uh, Jeff and uh, the work he's been doing. For sure. And, um, well, um, you got me on a spot here. I don't, uh, I don't know. How are, you using, <laughs> how are you using mobile devices in your world? Me? Um, I c kind of stopped um, uh, being. Uh, latest technology. Um, when I sold my iPad Touch, um, uh, it was the end of anything small and mobile for me. Um, I'm uh, just an old-fashioned um, web 1.0 uh, internet guy, basically, uh, who tries to use uh, web 2.0 um, in little ways to keep my site up to date. I'm b basically a video editor and an English language teacher. Um, I mean, be video maker and, and an English language teacher. And for your information, Stephen is a web 0 0.0, 1.0, 2.0, etc. guy. A uh, legend. Whose, whose day job is just staying tuned to what's going on, and you just found an IRC logger. That's that's Stephen down for you. Okay. We were talking about chat rooms. I, I'm so unhappy with my Java chat room, uh, and Stephen added one to his little live interface, but it didn't have an automatic archiving function 
five minutes ago, but now it's going to. Is that correct, Stephen? Sorry, sir. It didn't have a logger five minutes ago? Well, well no. you seem to have found an automatic logging function. I found an automatic logging function. That doesn't mean I know how to use it yet or have installed. What, what, what do you have planned this afternoon? Well, I'm still working on my grasshopper harvester because uh, I'm, I'm going to be using it for that MOOC, and it's got to be done by the end of August, so I can't mess around too much. It's uh, in, in addition to just harvesting posts, which it has been now, it's um, analyzing the posts, uh, looking for media, looking for audio, which I'll toss onto the radio, of course, looking for videos, which I'll also toss onto the radio. Uh, etc. And then taking that and all the links and creating a giant global graph of all the interactions between people that it's harvesting and etc. 